What is up you guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are attending Carnival's second turnout, but first time here in the actual bay. And by bay, I mean SF. Cow Palace today. We're gonna link up with the whole crew. We're gonna meet up at a gas station. And from there, we'll just cruise out, ride out all together. I'm kind of excited to be honest. It's been a while since Carnival has hosted. So it'll be dope to see the full turnout and how many cars pop out, but also see some familiar faces. With that being said, let's get to the gas station. You guys know nothing's better than meeting up right and early with the team. Bernie's E46, two E46s, with this beautiful 350Z over here, man. Look at this, on 3P wheels, freshly painted, carbon fiber hood, with the bash bar too. Way too clean, way too clean. We got our VQ boys in the back. We even got some trucks pulling in for gas, early morning grind. But we're out here, gonna give you guys a quick preview before we roll in. We got the homie out there with the Lexus, you guys see him, all the way from Santa Cruz. Damn, they got the drift set up and everything ready to go. I'm telling you, once we get to Cal Palace, it's gonna be a whole show. Still waiting on a couple to pull up, but we're practically gonna take over this 7-Eleven gas station. This shit is so nice. El compa mamut! Clean bills all around. got a 350z on the trailer probably gonna be ready for drift we're gonna catch that on the drift fit the boy tony on his new setup clean bro the new setup and everything fire super fire bro i know everyone's posted up out here you guys see it well, that thing is clean Posted up here now, but it's gonna be hot this whole block. Let me see Tony's best pull. You guys see it, man? This whole block, literally. Oh, what? At 4:35, I think. I gotta hear the M. Let me hear it. Time for a rolling. I'm excited for this. Carnival hasn't hosted in a cool while. I went to the first one. First one ever was, I brought out the Z. Cute ass food right here. I heard he's gonna hit the drift pit. Maybe. Maybe. Like this? Yeah. Yes, sir. But next stop, next stop, Cal Palace. Cute ass food. Currently pulling up to Carnival as we speak. Pretty early to be honest, but we got the whole lineup in the bag. You see my boy Bernie in the back. We're about to pull in right now. See what's up, check out the cars. Uh, stick along. You guys see it's gonna be a cool turnout. Bunch of cars, already vendors setting up and everything. The lines looking nice. We got our Valley chapter rolling in right now. Cute as Rodrigo. If you guys want to tap in. Oh no, actually he's married. I, I can't. Put me on with the the hype, the the trend. Nowadays you don't get jumped in. Nowadays you just get your bandana. <laughs> so we're gonna bust up the M. Take notes, y'all. Take notes. Blessed up for sure. No, uh, there we go. All set, ready to go. It's a video. Yeah, y'all see it. Fire. out with that bad control arm in the rear. He's out for the count. Unless he can fix it in time. I heard 
this guy's a professional drifter. Oh yeah. Let me see some bars. He's on break right now. POV fur was brave enough to get a, uh, a drift spectator ticket so for a ride-along meaning POV is gonna be taking over right now so handing over the camera to fur fur is taking over we're here waiting he's tight hold down until you feel stuck okay okay guys we're here oh my god I'm so nervous here we are
saben que los quiero mucho y que los amo siempre y siempre estaré para ellos. This guy claims to be a driver. He claims to be a driver. We'll see. We'll find out. We're gonna go check out the whips indoor. Show some love to the cars inside, and we'll catch you guys in there. Before we get inside, let me know what you guys think about this vet right here. Drift Cave, Borla sponsored. The uh, Ford Star of the Wheels, Momo interior, harnesses, digital dash, the hydro, and everything. This car is just drift built specifically. Rear delete with the roll cage. You see the GoPro or whatever, what seems to be a camera. The clutch pedal though. You gotta look at that. This thing is clean. All right, now we enter the indoor section of the actual meet. The 370Z. The E39 M5. Boosted. ESS tuning. Mishimoto, oh damn, that's super dope. 3P wheels. The interior, buckets all around. Rear buckets, front buckets. Man, it's stick shift. Trunk setup. Say what's up to the vlog. C6 Corvette, all white. White housing, headlights, RSV wheels, interior. It's clean though. Something you do not see every day. The inner panel. Vinyl wrap, G wagon going crazy. And I'm trying to go for something like this, livery style. I don't know about the hood exits, not yet though. But you guys can tell what's in store under that hood. This front end. I don't know why this car's not in the drift pit, but the Sparco seats, quick release steering wheel, the hydro, the everything is just ready to go, ready to rip. Steering wheel up top. You guys see the back? I wonder where that leads to. Pink Panther theme. That thing with that. But I'm really loving this. I really want to go for like a livery style wrap or theme with my M4. Not entirely sure what or how, but I will get to that. Yeah, this Lexus goes hard. And then we got the GTR, Nardo Gray. That hood. I've not seen a hood like that. Custom wide body, custom rear, red interior. This right here. If I could get my hands on one of these, an S15. All you really need is the heart of the beasts. This car has it. This car exhibits that. Beautiful wheel specs, beautiful interior, color match roll cage, quick release steering wheel, big arrow wing. You can't go wrong with this. What is this to be a, well, I would say, a, obviously a Jeep, but. Oh, and it's supercharged. Okay, yeah, this thing's definitely a road killer. Put this thing on the, tar not tarmac, but put this thing off-road and you're ripping trenches, canyons, and all of that. Beautiful. This is another company that Auto Designs Pro, uh, maybe I'll also check in with them because the, their rap skills and quality is just insane. F80, M3, S55. I'm, I'm, I need a four-door. I mean, if something comes, maybe. 
Maybe, but stay tuned. I do love these though. The E36 with a V8 and a Pro Charger. What else do you really need? Angel Eyes, I love these. E36, like I said, I just, I just love these cars. 370Z, Genesis, Kia Stinger. You don't see too many of these modified, but that Fitment, hold on, let me get y'all a close up. Fitment is just tough. Front and rear, definitely can't go wrong with this E92. Wide body, molded. The hood, the Recaro seats, the roll cage. This car is gold right here. And the fact that it's uh, powered by a S58. Rotary engine, RX-7. I need me one of these in my life. Show love to Mamut. Super dope build, his charger. One of one, super, a lot of custom parts, the headlights. The front Hellcat uh, custom uh, bumper, the carbon hood, one of one, his diffuser is one of one, his 3P wheels, the fitment, the interior, he's really got it all. This vinyl wrap, but the trunk setup is what it's about. You guys see it? He even has the plasma there. Definitely seen this one at previous shows, but this car is super dope. This build overall, pro charged. This one too, wide body, this, this wide body kit is super nice. Oscar, if you're watching this, you need this body kit. This one right here is super clean. I would daily drive this car. These TEs, super subtle and clean. They match the car super well. Not overexposed, not oversaturated, just nice and subtle. And the orange brake calipers work perfectly with the corner lights. Ah, a teggy. When my time comes, y'all, pull up in this. I think I found myself some winners on the wheels. These SSR formulas, oh, these are clean. Some more clean builds all around. TL, Roger, where you at my guy? This 180 though, this 240 with the trunk setup. 326 seats. The works. But of course, my boy Oscar. Another super dope build. One of one all around. Custom headlights. Custom front end. The, the, the splitter. Custom basically car carbon engine bay. You guys see the placard up front, repping. AG3P wheels, the interior on bronze. My boy rocking the merch. But super dope interior as well. On the air suspension, fitment tough. Let me give you guys a quick look at the back. Check them out on the IG. They got it all. back out all right so hopefully you guys can hear me with the drift cars in the background but we're gonna go around give a quick overview of the beautiful cars that are present here this beautiful s2k with the carbon fiber splitter the hood wide body in the rear vented flares this thing is clean interior roll cage and everything g35 one of one custom paint job with the carbon hood he's got a whole description for himself from seats, quick release steering wheel, stick shift, so we're working with the manual, on airlift, suspension. This wide body kit is wicked. It's definitely unique, for sure. Paired beside it, we got this Velocer, wide body fender flares, the carbon, carbon hood. It's clean, KDM. We got an Audi, FRS, a Genesis, the anime, Drift liveries. I don't know, man. There's, there's definitely a name for it. I just, I honestly can't think of it from the top of my head. But hey, man, to everyone their own. You gotta rep what you like. These wheels are clean, though. I do like these wheels. This wide body kit, though, definitely unique. Yeah, I think this is probably my favorite one with the wide body, the wheels, the rear, also the new gen. Not to mention the trunk setup. You know, Tesla's making a move when it comes to things like this as they say you know there's no engine in the front so they call it a frunk you know you can't go wrong with a miata that's boosted you guys see the turbo honestly i wonder how much he's pushing on this one brom seats with some harnesses clean interior that shift lever is fire the two miatas not sure if this one's boosted or not but this one definitely is you check them out this wide body f32 with the 3p wheels Interior, carbon steering wheel, carbon all around, I would say. Check them out. But this, the flares, the wide body, is super clean, subtle. 
Clean and simple. Done right. These Kansai's look fire on this Corvette. What are you thinking? Um, Corvette looks smooth. I like the wrap. The wrap? Yeah, it's a wrap from a, like what it looks like. Uh, what is it? C8? C6. C6. You would drive this? Sure. And then we approach the full carbon 370Z. Front carbon bumper, carbon hood, fenders, the doors, the pillars, the roof, the quarter panel overlays, the rear bumper, the hatch. This thing is like something out of just addiction to carbon. I wonder if this is actually lightweight. This car is fire. This color is fire too. But the fact that it's got the freaking the drift angle in the front, wide body all around. This is like clean, simple, done right. Polished engine bay. The rev up edition. I, I really like these seats. These seats are so subtle, clean. And it's got the harness bar in the back. Yeah, this one's done right for sure. I absolutely love these stock Nismo Recaros. It's too bad they're like tax right now, but these are very, very clean. If I could grab a pair of these for like a good price, I will. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I love the S chassis. Give me some time, I guarantee you I will get one and I will get into this. Due to the fact that like, it's kind of hard to find a good clean S chassis nowadays, it's kind of hard to find something. But these seats, I would love to drive one of these as a daily. Wide body, pero no quiere. Good fitment, proper fitment rear. In the back he's tucking, but roof rack, fire Volkswagen. You know I love the 350Zs. This one's super clean, I really like this one. Just clean and simple. 370. G35 sedan. If you guys don't already know, they do have a Ferris wheel here. If they give me a promotion code, I'll get on the E36 M3 and the E90 M3 over there. Gotta show love to the Hondas, especially that one. I think that's not, it's not an SI, but super clean. Both of these, this color's. Oh, and it's a Type R. Engine bay, these seats go crazy. Oh, the door cards, yo. And it's right hand drive. Like I was so blown away by the seats and the door cards, I didn't even realize it was right hand drive. Yeah, this is clean. I think I follow Homeboy on IG on air. This car is just like, if you got a family and you're trying to go to car shows, this is the thing. This is what you need with the clears in the rear too. And the thing is, you don't really see too many of these. We come up to the S2K, followed with Poncho and Rafa. What's up? What's up, man? Say what's up to the vlog. What's up, vlog? Give me your thoughts on this car. What do you think? Man, this thing is clean. What's it missing, Pancho? Rear bumper, but that's that's, that's, that's about it. Yeah. He's gonna interview you real quick. Tell the people uh, what happened a couple years ago, like three, four years ago, when you were driving the Suburban. Do you remember? <laughs> when we hit the uh, was it, the sidewalk, <laughs> it's a pop. And he's gonna be going pro for the the drift pit right now. Not today, not today. I got the wide body on. There not we go. Today. Yeah, not risking the wide body. Never mind, bro. What is something you think you would add to this car? The trailer for a bike. The trailer for a bike. But interior, clean and subtle. Chassis mounted wing. I believe this is oh, actually this is paint. So I thought it was a wrap, but it's actually paint. If you couldn't afford a Ferrari back in the day and you wanted a sports car, MR2 was the way to go. Being that it's a rear mid engine. Oh, and it's got the turbo. Yeah, this car is super dope. Super clean. Stick shift and everything. T-top. Get yourself an MR2. Some more Teslas to the mix. But this car right here, this one stands out. Color, the carbon, the fenders. Stanley fell in love over there. VIP style builds. These are clean. I'm not going to lie. I do like these. Would I drive it? I mean, personally, probably not. Because this, this is definitely like a show car. Like... I don't know about pulling up to work in one of these. Everyone will be looking at me weird. But definitely got the privacy with the curtains. And you're just riding VIP style. Comfortable, relaxed, in style. Engine cover is fire. I want to say this is a what? Hydro dip yeah, or? Hydro dip. Yeah, right? That's That's me. I do, I do rock with that. But even the half and half, the two-tone. That super aggressive front end. The clear vented with hood the acrylic? with the acrylic. So you can see all the modifications and you can see everything through without even having to pop the hood. Carbon, all around, wide body. I need me one of these. If you guys do not know what these are, TRX supercharged Hellcat engine. So this is basically the 6.2 liter 
Hellcat engine in a truck. We got the Type R, the Genesis, the Honda, another Honda. This one's clean. And then we got the Mero Z. Oh, this is no, this is the IROC Z. These are beautiful. Super hard to come across nowadays with the hatch. We got the 5.0s, the Fox bodies over there. Got the Honda with the pink wrap, the Mini pushing power. Carbon engine bay. You see the turbo in front. You see the 52s. Ooh, Recaro seats with a roll cage and it's stick shift. This wide body right here is super clean. That 3P for show. Nothing crazy in the interior, but the front end speaks for itself. 392. Or should I say snack pack? Another S14. I, I just love these for some reason. Charger. G37, the new gen Type S um, Acura. These are very clean. Those VSs are fire. Polished TEs, the GS300. This car right here speaks for itself. This car is like in all the types of shows. Clean engine bay, clean bodywork, clean exterior. The wheels go crazy. The interior is done. This is like just a straight show car. Like, homies put so much work into it. He even has a rope to make sure you don't get too close. But I think the only thing missing is really just like a steering wheel. But if you like the comfort and compatibility of having all your functions, well, you keep the stock one. Definitely one for the books. The Boy 3 Filthy, AKA Mario, wide body 370Z. Another 370Z, Nismos, another Nismo. This one's crazy though. Hold on, let me get you guys a quick sneak peek. Supercharged, still in. The way that thing revs goes crazy. You guys see it? This one's clean. This one's super nice. I like the color. It pops. And then we got the G35. Boy Tony's G37. Color, the headlights, the carbon, the engine bay. That fit me. But super clean. The S13. Another S chassis. The Z3 with the center lock wheels. And the F32. Damn, what? This thing is wicked. <laughs> a FD RX7 with an LS and a small little turbo to add a little bit of horsepower. The SVT Cobra right here. I've always loved these. These are super fast, super quick. Definitely a dream car. Nismo 370Z GS300. Starting it off with this bike right here. If you guys know Stanley, this is his bike, his R6. Check him out on the Instagram. You guys see my boy Lonzo in his Sentra. Vico, WRX, 350Z, Santa Cruz Chapter, the Supi, WRX, the Lexus, Furs, FRS, cute ass Rafa, the E46, two E46s, F82, RSX. The man himself, Pancho with the build. Give me a rundown, my brother. What are we running? Icon motors, uh, wide body, side yes. skirts, stick user, ZL1 wicker build, mm -hmm. Icon motors, lower, got a front lip, unbranded, I got BC racing coilovers, RF three wheels, three piece, got a custom headlight with under mode. Okay, okay. Check him out. He is our Valley recruiter. Paired next to him, we got Rafa with the TC, looking super clean. The Honda with this super beautiful, like matte brushed color. Carbon hood as well, Johnny, with the IS350. And then we round it down with the Subi, the Prospect, in the works. Volkswagen, Peluchin, where you at, my boy? The Lowered Empire Supra. This wide body STI WRX, E36 M3, I love these. Johnson, my guy, the Accords. Another Z, another Z. The lineup keeps going. If you guys know the owners, do tag them. Show some love. The Supra, sponsored by Motul itself. Oh damn, this Tesla with damn, this is clean. This I like this. Wide body F FD RX7. Yeah, that's clean. With the GTR, full carbon. This boy is crazy. This boy is wicked. And by I mean full carbon, I really mean full carbon. This thing is crazy. In and outs. 
Yes, sir. Repping. Well, there you guys have it, guys. It is very, very cold, windy today. The award ceremony is all over now. Uh, we're walking over to the cars. We're calling it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and keep it authentic. Till the next one. Peace.